Are you an annoying drama queen? <laughs> We're about to find out if Amelia is. My name is Jonathan. And my name is Amelia. And together we're Jamelia. Silence. <laughs> the drama quiz test. <laughs> Do you pull a hissy fit when things don't go your way? Have you caused the scene in Polly just because somebody didn't do what you asked? Or blow a teeny tiny tissue out of proportion? That actually says issue, but I said tissue. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Let's get started. Okay. You spot a bump on the back of your arm. Have you noticed it before? Do you assume you are dying of cancer? Is that even one of the symptoms for cancer? Like well, more so, is that the symptom of a trauma queen? I, th I think we've I think we've jumped the gun here a bit, right? This is aggressive. This is this is right out of the bat. There's no messing about. It. Amelia, yes or no? No. <laughs> no. She, God, thank you. It's, it's just either a mosquito bite, okay, and those pesky things. No, um, mosquitoes like they don't do anything. To be rational. Be rational. This is the rationality test, not the drama queen test. Let's move on. Your significant other forgets your birthday. Do you accuse him or her of not loving you anymore? Um, yeah, because they're probably cheating. Because if they forget your birthday, probably they're on a date with their, like, other partner that they're, like, seeking, um, or, like, seeking. <laughs> they're probably trying, and then they're like, Oh, sorry, I forgot. You forgot my birthday. That is a crime. It's a crime. <laughs> Go so, to jail. Anyone planning an ever of dating Amelia is taking notes right now. Don't forget birthday. You see the person you are dating out on the town with somebody very attractive, like me. Do you assume they are having a secret relationship and confront them right then and there? Hmm. I need to think. Hmm. So they're out, they're having drink. Well, based on a picture, we're going to assume they're out, they're having drinks, they're having a good time. Sometimes I need to read things again and again to understand them even more. So you see the person you're dating out of town. So this is the look, look, this is the person you're dating. This is you just walking like da -na 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 -na. and they're with someone very attractive. So like um, this person, what do you men think people would? Oh, okay, like these really, really long hair and this like disgusting makeup palette, which is disgusting. And then you're like, oh, she's blonde and she's pretty. I am going to disallow her. And then you confront them. Um, probably not, but maybe because first of all, if you were going out with your friend, would you put on like a thousand pieces of makeup on your face? No, mm. you'd probably just be basic because you're, you know, your friend loves you for who you are. Um, if not, then. But do you assume when you see your help. partner there, um, with someone having drinks, do you assume that they're cheating on you? Just because they're there with with somebody attractive, or do you just think nah? But like, if you were going with your friend, would you actually put on makeup? No, you probably have a messy bun in. Like, oh, so it depends on how they well dressed. So yeah, if your partner, if is you're off, well dressed for just going out with your friend, you'd mm, want to have fun. You wouldn't care about exactly. what you look like. Exactly. Like me, when I went to that theater, like you know the theater place, I didn't like mommy exactly. was like, get dressed nice, and I was like, no, because uh, it's literally like so long and um. I'm gonna be having fun there, so, so I don't want to have to have so a So we're not assuming. Like, um, so, I assume. It, we need more, we need more information. We need to know how well are they dressed, yeah. you know what I mean? So, um, let's say, based on if the- If they come over again, like if you're like, oh my friend's gonna be coming over to your house then, um, well, um, if I pay the bills and you just do the cleaning, no, you can get yourself out of here and I will pay the bills by myself and I will bring, make a divorce and then I'll get half of your money and then I will actually be like the ruler of the world and then I will just like, facts, so. So we're gonna say no. Have you ever cried at work? <laughs> no, I don't even work. Have you Oh ever? yeah, wait, me and my friends do working. That is amazing. <laughs> What's that? But like, um. Have you ever cried at school? <laughs> yes. Okay, then yes. Next. Okay. Have you ever been taken to- It's probably going to count it as work, so. 
and they're gonna be like, you're a drama queen, because this won't work. Have you ever been taken to the hospital for something that turned out to be nothing more than your imagination? So have you ever thought like, oh my god, I'm dying, oh my god, everything's going wrong. No. no. You're irrational. Yeah. Have you ever yelled, or have you ever got really annoyed? I'm not a Karen. Okay, that's enough. No. Mm. Straight up. I'm not a Karen. The phone rings at 1 a.m. All right. Do you assume it's because somebody has died? <laughs> you haven't even answered it yet. <laughs> Why are you like? Oh my God! It's. Are you? What are you even doing at 1 a.m.? <laughs> I know. But First of all. Okay. It's 1 a.m. Right. and you. For some reason, the phone rings and then you're like, oh, the phone's ringing. Um, what are you even doing at 1am? Because it seems to me if you were asleep, you probably wouldn't even notice. But if you were awake doing something weird because you're a weird person, then um, it's like, what are you even doing at 1am? <laughs> Just like, ignore it as well. If you're like, what are you doing at 1am though? Get sleep. Well, the phone is rang and it's woke me up. Okay. And I'm looking at my phone and I'm thinking, has somebody died? Or are you just thinking like, hmm, wonder who's calling me? I wonder who's calling me. It's, so it's 1 a.m. <laughs> okay, can you cry on command? Uh, yeah. Can you fake cry? I can. Wait, do you want me to do it? Yeah, see if you can prove it. Okay, but also, there's something that I know actors use, which is like this thing, um, I've seen it on TikTok, it's this little it looks like lipstick actually and then you put it over here and it apparently oh it makes your eyes water yeah because it's like i think it, so you just rub it under your eye and yeah, then and wait it, and your yeah. tears come down no because i think it like hurts that, that's how they do it yeah i think that's it it's because it hurts. so actors don't even cry in films they fake it yeah because i think but anyway. i mean every actor fakes it they are are you ready when are you ready yes you are the same as the other one you deserve a little crown, every girl does. But it won't be because you're the queen of drama. Even in touchy situations that could spark a theatrical reaction. Why is always dirty? I know, in most people, you somehow manage to stay calm and composed. This likely stems from your rational, down-to-earth approach to life and your ability to keep your emotions in check. Might disagree with that one. Even your your Turn, I can't read that. Fuming or freaking out on the inside. Is that true? Sometimes. Sometimes, okay. When something it goes wrong. It's maths. Mm, well, maths, everyone feels that way in maths. I don't even know what. What do you even need maths for? I know. It's like, what you, like the only thing you need to learn in life is how to count and. Um, that's maths. How. Unfortunately. Yeah, but like the only, that's the only thing you need to study, basically, how to count yeah. and learn the time. Um, All you need to do in life. Because is you're, get not yourself gonna, you're not on gonna the do internet. This. I've said this ages. You're not gonna you're not gonna just be like for some reason I need to multiply something. Um why? What are you multiplying? Just like oh my goodness there's a number. I should have some fun. Maybe I should multiply this. Oh my god, I'm so smart, I got a one. <laughs> what the heck? Okay, you know that freaking out won't help you in any way. You could actually make things worse. Who in the family acts like that? Edie. And? Mummy. <laughs> this approach has hopefully helped you manage the most of life's trials, both big and small. As long as you are not being blindly optimistic to the point that you ignore trouble, you're coping very well. I know. Congratulations, Amelia. You are 30% drama queen. I love the pictures. The pictures do tell a story yeah. all on their own. <laughs> I feel like if I had to choose a pic, like, um. That's um, not a very drama queen picture, is no. it? No. A drama queen picture would be like this. Yeah. Like, 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 um, in the thing that, you know, when I was showing you, um, the thing we'd do in, um, Stagecoach. Yes. That one, where they go like that. that well, hold on, let's see if we can go, let's go back and let's see if we can get 100%. Will you spot a thing you're like, oh my, yes. yes. Oh, I'm freaking out, man. Oh, Your significant, do you accuse them of loving you? Right? Yep, they don't love me anymore. That's it. My life is over. You see a person dating in town. Oh my goodness, they're cheating on me. You ever cry to work every single day, don't you? Uh, yeah. Have you ever been taken to the hospital for something to turn into a thing every single day, don't you? Wait, then how do you work? 
<laughs> well, you, you, you work out in the hospital. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Have you ever yelled at her? Yeah, big time. Total Karen. Uh, the phone rings and I do so. Obviously, somebody has died. Can you cry in command? Obviously. Whoa! Yeah. <laughs> it's like someone dying. It is. It's like, oh. We did it. You should get an Oscar for your dramatic flair. You tend to blow situations way out of proportion, which in turn causes you to overreact and transform a potential. Like, I get 0%. Like, you chew. Ooh, I don't know how to get 0%. Okay. You spot a bump in your back. Nah, bruv. You're significant. You accuse him. No way. Uh, you see a person. Not a chance. Actually, I feel like I'm actually these are right answers for me. <laughs> Have you ever been yelled? Uh, no. Have you ever been yelled? No. It's oh no. Have you been? No. Okay, good. No. no. Oh. Zero percent. Ah! That's me. That's me. You may deserve a crown every girl. This is the same one. This is the same as the thirty percent one. Oh well, yeah, we did it. We got zero. Woo! We just leaked for them. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Uh, leave comments below if you're a drama queen and how you would answer some of the questions. And don't forget to subscribe. I'm doing what Andrea does when he wants something. He does. And no, and he stopped blinking. He's like. He does. He just starts blinking like like he's blinked really fast. Emilio is going to keep blinking until you press the subscribe button. Save me. <laughs> Save me. Ring the bell. See the subscribing. Don't forget to watch our other videos or on the channel if you want to watch it for other episodes with Amelia Thomasina. And if you enjoyed these, please let us know. Other than that, we'll see you guys next time. Cheerio, mate. Bye.